I'm Ira Plato, host and executive producer of Science Friday, and we have been on the air now over 25 years. I have been a science journalist over 40 years, and the reason I started Science Friday is because my philosophy in science uh, communication is to try to make science a topic of discussion around the dinner table. As, as much as people talk about sports or business, the stock market, I want them to say, hey, guess what I heard on Science Friday today? Guess what I learned about science? Because science should be you know, on everybody's mind as much as the other topics are, because science is very, very important in people's lives, and we should be talking about it. But not only did I want people to be able to learn about science, I wanted people to realize that scientists are human beings, because sometimes we use two different phrases to describe people. There are scientists and then there are people, but scientists are human beings just like the rest of us. And I wanted to be able to have people to actually communicate two ways, to talk to scientists back and forth, and to realize uh, the kind of work that they do, their challenges, and to actually just sort of bond with scientists to see what they're like. So on Science Friday, we could have created a pre-recorded you know, pre -recorded show about science topics. There are lots of shows like that. But the only way you could get the audience to talk back and forth would be to create a live talk show, which is what we do on the radio. Uh, when it becomes a podcast, of course, you can't do that. But the, the live part is what I really enjoy the most. Uh, and people get to, to speak with a scientist about their work, they get to uh, understand their motivations. But the most interesting thing that they learn that I found out very early on when we did Science Friday is that they learn that science is a method of discovery and what you discover changes over time. That there's no big book of science to open up, oh, this is what science says. So what science says changes because our knowledge changes. And that makes people very uncomfortable sometimes. And when we started talking with scientists, our, uh, one of our first shows, uh, we had a scientist coming on talking about the new theory back then, which was that an asteroid may have wiped out the dinosaurs. That's how old this story, we, we go back. And then we had, uh, because we were alive and people were calling in, we actually had a scientist call in from California who was a biologist who wanted to question the scientist sitting next to me. And they, they got into this exchange, they got into sort of a, a frank exchange of views and started challenging one another. And it was a really interesting exchange to show how scientists may not you know, always agree with what they're saying. And the mail next week reflected that. Uh, I remember Barbara from New Jersey wrote a postcard and she said, you know, I like this new Science Friday. And what's most amazing to me as I've never seen scientists argue with each other. I thought science knew everything. And that lesson alone, I think, is worthwhile for us to do Science Friday to show, if nothing else, that um, science is an organic process and that uh, scientists really do disagree with each other many times.